How much lift does a DJI Spark or a Mavic Air have if you're trying to tag a Highline? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highline. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx and I love highlining. And if you haven't seen highlining, it's where we walk on ropes really high. No, 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 higher. Yeah, like that. And so, how do you get the line across is one of the most common questions people ask highliners. And the short answer is you go down and over or around. But sometimes it's really, really nice to use a drone. But what are the limits of the drones for tagging high lines? Now you can fly across a fishing line and then reel it back in with some paracord. And that paracord is strong enough to pull your high line over. We're gonna find out today if this little guy and the Mavic Air can take the paracord directly if it's under 100 meters, which is what most high lines are. We're gonna do that today with a luggage scale that goes up to 100 pounds, which I doubt this DJI Spark can exceed. And we're going to fly it all the way over there and find out what its capacity is. So we're gonna just do a short direct test on each drone. We have the luggage scale here attached by the paracord attached to the harness. Now we have to have a carabiner right here so the uh, harness doesn't fly up and hit the blades. You gotta have some sort of weight and this is plenty. So let's, uh, let's take off. Okay, that was really scary. Every time I pulled on it, it sensed it, sensed it and it uh, just gave me no resistance. I got 0.3 pounds was the most, and I've tagged a thousand foot highline with this. I know it can do more than that. So that was really, really interesting. I guess we're just gonna have to fly the whole tag line up to see what it's capable of. Okay, so I attached a fishing line to this, and we're just gonna hold this fishing pole uh, with the reel open and we're just gonna let it spool out and see if we can fly all the way to the other side um, with what this can lift. So we were able to fly all 72 meters of my fishing line, which is only about halfway down there. Um, I don't have more fishing line with me, but it did not struggle with that. What I'm really curious about is if it can handle 100 meters of paracord. Okay, so the drones you can't just pull down on and get a reading. And I know the Mavic Air can definitely handle 72 meters of fishing line. Uh, so let's just skip right to using the Mavic Air to see if it'll pull up all this paracord straight up out of the bag. And then if it does, we'll just fly it as far as we can and see, see what happens. The wind drag, and this is not much wind, is pulling the drone forward and I'm fully resisting it. Max motor speed reached. Okay, it's really, really feeling it. Okay, so we got 75 meters pulling the paracord straight out of the bag. And I have about five mile per hour winds here and about 10 or 15 mile per hour winds up top because the tops of the trees are moving. So this drone completely would stop going forward even though it was only about six feet off the ground um, because 75 meters of paracord is dragging on the grass. And I was pulling this back in, I realized there's a lot of drag. So as I walk, I see about a pound of force. And when I have to pull real hard, it goes up to about one and a half pounds of force. So drones can really not take too much, but uh, if there's no wind resistance and it's not dragging all over the ground, paracord just doesn't pull it down that much. Okay, so I had this entire bundle of paracord in the air all at the same time uh, with quite a bit of wind resistance. So let's weigh it. It's only 1.08 pounds. Uh, which is the amount of drag I was getting on the grass. Um, I just can't believe, like, 
the drone doesn't seem like it could handle this, especially because it had, I think, one or two carabiners in the system as well. Um, but this is about a pound. I don't imagine it going much more than that. So if you can eliminate drag and uh, unnecessary coils, then I think you could get another 25 meters out of this, being able to fully tag a 100 meter line with a drone. But it is obviously better with fishing line because that doesn't weigh anything except for the wind drag it creates. Now I know hauling stuff with a drone is not what they're designed for. So drone people, please don't troll me. We try to use these as tools to make our high line tagging safer so we don't fall off of cliffs. And we're gonna keep experimenting with this in other ways to find out the safest, most reliable way to fly drones without hurting ourselves or our expensive ass drones. Even if we can find an efficient and safe way to tag our highlines, that doesn't mean highlining is safe. Therefore, you shouldn't highline.